Good morning guys, we are currently just outside of Dubrovnik in a small little fishing village. There is the camper van there, Josie's currently sleeping, we had to take it in turns uh, because we are in a car park so one of us had to stay awake just in case anyone came and we had to move. But guys just have a look at where we are as the sun is coming up. It is just absolutely beautiful here and I can guarantee you that we will be coming back here to film it properly because today we've got a really really exciting vlog for you but I'm gonna save that until Josie's awake. Montenegro three days early. Now my mum had just moved there the day before we arrived and I haven't seen her in a year since we left Australia halfway through the lockdowns from the pandemic. So we were really really excited to get there and surprise her. We hopped on the bus, went down there and uh, managed to bump into her on the street. So things have changed a little bit since we last saw you. We left the last video as we arrived into Zagreb and the plan was to do split and Dubrovnik and then meet up with my mum in Montenegro but the weather was really bad in split and Dubrovnik wasn't it? Yeah it was and there wasn't many campsites either that were open No. and you're not allowed to freak out in Croatia the police will come and get you. So... And it was raining the whole time. So we thought we'd come to Montenegro now and surprise mum. I just called her before. She's feeling a little bit like she doesn't belong. She doesn't know what she's done. She's kind of, uh, I wouldn't say regretting it, but just having some second thoughts about the decision. And she said she can't wait for us to get there. Well, she's counting down the days. She's counting down. She We're said counting down the steps. Only three more days and exactly right. We're only just around the corner we just got to figure out where it is i've taken some screenshots when she showed me her building and where she's staying so now i just kind of have to figure out which one it is that's 5a that's 5b yeah so it could be on the other side there she is there she is Well, it is the next day. We had a little bit of fun catching up with mum yesterday and we went out for dinner and that was really, really nice. And now she's coming back here to pick us up in a taxi because we do not have a small car and we don't want to drive around this city with the massive camper van. So Josie's just getting my mask because I keep forgetting it. You know, you'd think after spending over a year in lockdown in Melbourne that I'd remember, but I don't. Morning. Well, how are you? <laughs> Mum's local hangout. We just ordered uh, some lattes and they came with plastic straws. You. Never never had a latte with a straw and I haven't seen plastic straws in I don't know how many years. <laughs> no, true, right? Eating chips for breakfast? You. <laughs> Now when we arrived into Montenegro, we were a little bit pushed for time as we wanted to go and surprise my mum. So we went looking for a campsite. We couldn't find any that were open. We managed to find this one uh, that was mainly used for tents. But the lovely lady that ran the place said, look, you can park in my driveway, that's fine. You can stay here for the night for 10 euros. But we had to go and move it the next day. Now we had been having some issues with finding a campsite that was open and finding car hire that was open. Everywhere said it was open, then you'd go there and they were closed. But we managed to just luckily flag down the right taxi driver. His name is Emil. We will be using him going forward every single time. He's an absolute legend. He made a few calls, he got us a car, he made a few more calls, he got us the campsite. He just really, really helped us out. Drive along here is so nice. Yeah, it's just incredible. 
very thin with the camper van, but now that we've got a nice small car, it's uh, a lot less stressful. We enjoyed the beautiful drive along the coast of Kotor Bay to Kotor, where we went to the old town and had a lovely dinner with a few glasses of wine. It is now day three of being in Montenegro and today we are driving around, getting a bit of an idea of our surroundings and finding the perfect place for where mum wants to move so we can then go look at houses in that area. And what is this behind us, Tracy? Uh, Lustitia Bay. And it is beautiful. Yeah. The sun is shining today. Yeah, it's been raining since we got here and today is the first day we see the sun. We're getting an idea of what it's going to be like in summer here and I'm excited for what's to come over the next few months. So let's have a look around. We're going to go down to this Bay now and see what it's like. This almost doesn't feel real. It feels, it feels like a movie set. Yeah, or like one of the casinos in Las Vegas. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's like, do people live here? Um, it, it really feels like a, a movie set, like the Truman Show. <laughs> Everything is just so new in an old country. I mean, it, it's, it's beautiful, but it's a bit weird. It is. Know. So we're gonna hop back in the car now and head on to the next area which we don't know what it is yet but we'll uh we'll see soon you just keep exploring yeah that's <laughs> it We've now just stopped in this beautiful little town called Prast and it is just picturesque. Absolutely. It is so stunning. When mum so. told me she wanted to move here, I started looking for real estate for her and this house just up here on the, on the right was one of the houses that uh, I saw and that I was sending to her. So now to actually be here mm. and seeing it for real, it's just picturesque. Yeah, it is and it's kind of what we were expecting Montenegro to be like, so now we're seeing it and it is just beautiful. There's no people around, it's just quiet. The sun's beaming and it's, oh. Lovely. Beautiful. All right, so the sun is starting to go down here in Parast. So we're going to head back to the campsite. Sun goes down pretty quickly here because of the mountains. Yeah. So the sun kind of hides behind the mountains and then it gets a bit colder. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to head back and then tomorrow we're going to go to Herceg Novi and check that out. We know the vlog's getting a little bit long, but this is our first impressions of around the place. And we're going to come back to all these places and do an in-depth vlog and show you guys around a little bit more. But uh, yeah. incredible first experience so far. Very good. Now we're in Herceg Novi. Yeah. This is Porta Novi and it is just beautiful. It's, it's really modern, really done up and this is the new part of the city and then you've got the old part of the city which looks a lot like the rest of Montenegro that we've seen such as Parast. It's just, it's, it's a really nice spot but then along the old town it's kind of those thin narrow roads along the water in between the, the houses and it's just it's the fantastic. kind of roads that we've seen a lot of here in Montenegro. Mum has decided as well that she would like to stay in Tavat most likely. She might choose to stay here after we've had a bit more of a look around but she, she's thinking Tavat so she's hired a place for us all to stay in for a week while we have a look at some actual real estate. This vlog was just kind of our first impressions of 
what it's like in Montenegro and we'll go into a lot more detail with certain aspects like the tourist tax and all the different locations because they are all absolutely beautiful so yeah that was it this is our first impression uh, instantly it was a bit of a kind of a culture shock wasn't quite expecting that after driving all the way through Europe and then feeling a little bit kind of like we're in Asia yeah yeah so it's got a mixed feel like they're a bit like uh, manana manana you know eh, they're not really no one's in a rush no and they they're very chilled out people absolutely yeah definitely i think we'll end the vlog because it's getting really really long now mm, sorry about that but uh we hope that you've enjoyed it and uh as always if you did hit the like button and if you want to see more subscribe and we'll see you again in the next one <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs>